How's it going, my friends? So, finally managed to uh, mount this phone so that I don't have to hold it. Baruch Hashem. <laughs> so, <clears throat> something I've been wanting to say for a while. Didn't get a chance to say. Oh, there he goes, uh, my friend uh, Frank's Ima and the Ima of a great man, Dr. Zelenko. May his Neshama have an Aliyah. So, you guys probably remember we had that whole situation with the uh, football player about a week ago. No? And, um, you know, no matter what you think it was, whether it was the you-know-what, whether it was uh, something called, what do they call it, commodio cordis, or what I like to call commodio horse something, <laughs> no matter what it was, guys, one thing that I noticed and it's actually something that people were, prior to this, people were complaining about. Uh, specifically when, you know, a player like, um, I don't know if you guys know, there's a there's a guy who used to be a quarterback in the NFL. His name is Tim, Tim Tebow. And he's a Christian. And he would pray on the field regularly. When he scored a touchdown, he would play, pray. Pray. When uh, something was going on, he would pray. Import, you know, something important was happening, he would pray. He would just pray. And people were like, oh, look at this. You know, bumpkin, primitive guy. He's praying. What is this, you know, Jesus freak or whatever they call him. Not that I'm into Jesus or anything, guys. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they just railed on him for, for a few years. And others like him. And now, guys, all of a sudden, um, we get this whole situation with uh, DeMar Hamlin, the guy in the Buffalo Bills. Again, guys, it doesn't matter what you think it was. But what I noticed is, my friends, is that at the time that it happened, when the guy was getting, you know, CPR, guy was getting resuscitated twice and as they were carting him off on the ambulance um, everybody in the stadium players on both sides people around America who were watching and people who were, who were not watching were praying to Hashem for this man to be healed. And then you saw, guys, what did we see? We saw um, guys on TV who never do this ever. You know, these sports guys. Just, just praying. Doing like, you know, stopping the entire program just to, just to pray for this guy. My friends, I suspected that this would happen. A lot of people are, just, are talking about this. This whole situation for the past three years, first of all, it's shown us who clearly, like, 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 beyond the shadow of a doubt, who is on the side of Hashem and who is not. And guys, by the way, I'm not talking about you know, some of my friends in Israel, what we call the religious Zionist community or even the modern Orthodox community, people who went ahead and took the you know what. I think most of them are duped. Most of them were duped. Uh, I think there is definitely some sort of, uh, hate, I'll, I'll use the word Amuna problem in the community. There is. But I think most of them were duped. They were, they were scared, they were duped, whatever it was. You know, 
they believe in the state, the state knows all, the state knows more than they do, knows more than any of us, you know, the doctors, the state, reputable, this, that, you guys, you, you know, you know the thing, I don't have to go through this again, I've said this many times, so, but, apart from those people, we know that there are people who are specifically against Hashem, and then the rest of humanity is, is with Hashem. And my friends, we're, we are experiencing, this was the open kind of uh, display of the spiritual, spiritual revolution that is going on around the world, and particularly in America. Israel as well, but we, we see it in America, guys. Um, I don't know if we saw something like this in Europe. I don't know if we saw something like this in, in Brazil or in South America. Um, but for sure around here, we, we see it, guys. And now, you know, the silent majority up until now has been afraid to demonstrate uh, any kind of open, you know, anything to do with spirituality. Now people are not shy about it, which is a good thing. My friends, this country was founded by people, I always say, and I've been saying this recently, especially since, since you know, what I experienced in Israel. And by the way, guys, I'm flying to Israel in a couple of weeks, you know, and I, and I plan on building a life there. With that said, the state in America, the, the government of America was founded by people who believe in Tanakh. It was founded based on the Tanakh. The government of Israel, not the land, but the government, the government as we have it today, the structure of it, my friends, was founded on Marxist principles. At best, what you want to call European democratic socialism. My friends, why do you think, why do you think now, now that the right wing, religious right wing, are, let's say, I don't want to say complete power, but partially in power in Israel. They've been empowered, right? Why do you think that these people who are touting democracy so much are going absolutely berserk? I mean, they go berserk anyway, guys. We've seen it, right? We, we saw when they lose elections. When they lose elections in protest, it's democracy, right? And democracy is under threat when they lose elections, clearly lose them, right? Without any shadow of a doubt, without any suspension, uh, suspicion of, uh, you know what, okay? When they clearly and visibly and, 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 and uh, embarrassingly, uh, you know, and publicly lose elections, it's, in, it's an, uh, you know, it's, uh, democracy is at risk and they have to go protest and, and they're well within the right to protest and it's fine. When people who they, they don't like, when the right wing loses elections and the right wing protests, and when these guys win elections based on the left wing's elections based on doing some shady stuff, and the right wing goes to protest, it's oh, the right wing is insurrectionist and traitors and, and all the rest of it and dangerous and white supremacy. Guys, you know, the, you, know the, you know the rinse repeat, okay? The spiel. So, guys, why do you think they're going crazy now? in Israel because the people who are with Hashem, the people who were originally supposed to found the state or the people who are bringing what the state was supposed to be or what the return to Zion, to Zion, to Eretz Israel was supposed to be are now in power and they're not perfect, believe me, but they're in power. It makes the people who are against the Shem, openly against the Shem, directly against the Shem, it makes them go berserk, guys. It makes them go absolutely berserk. And guys, I mean, we, we see what's going on. Israel is the tip of the spear of this spiritual war. Again, I always say, as, Israel, as goes Israel, goes the rest of the world, just a little bit of a delay. Um... So guys, we have the spiritual revolution. We have people spiritually waking up and understanding where, you know, who is it? What entity can heal people who are basically, you know, mat um, matira surim, you know? 
Rofei Cholim Matir Sarim, like like healing the sick and reviving the dead. Ah, uh, sorry, Mechaye Metim. You know, guys, this guy was clinically dead. He was clinically dead on the field. Again, I'm not gonna say what it was, but he was clinically dead. Guys, with that said, I invite you to go on our sub. The Nation of Israel, that's substack.com. Uh, and look for a post entitled uh, Leaked um, Israel Ministry of Health. Um, basically, concluded that it was the you know what that caused all these issues for people in Israel, especially young people. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not some random guy on Substack doing his own study. This is not a guy on Twitter. You know, this is not a guy, you know, this is not our friend Edward Dow talking about insurance claims and, and uh, you know, these are, this is not like, um, as people like to call it, spekulatsia in Russian, you know, speculation. This is not inference. This is not deductive reasoning. This is not even inductive reasoning. This is um, conclusive, something conclusive from a source that people deem authoritative. Not that I put much stock into them, but I know other people do, right? So guys, it's kind of like, speaking of which, it's kind of like when Ben-Gurion went to UN and they asked him, what do you base founding in the state? And he said, you know, he held up a Bible and they said to him, but you don't even believe in it. He said. Yeah, but I know that you do. So guys, I don't believe in the Ministry of Health, but I know that you do. And the Ministry of Health of Israel says that there's an issue, clear issue, which, which you know, basically should lead this to be pulled. My friends, we're entering now the time and place of a spiritual revolution not only a spiritual revolution, we're going to see a lot of stuff resolved. I, again, it's been happening very, very slowly. Too slow for my friend Frank, of course. It's actually even too slow for me. But it's about to ramp up, guys. It's about to ramp up. They've released the hounds on Twitter. You know, they've unchained. You know, Rabbi Kesson talks about... And I, I don't know if... I mean, we are living in the Mashiach era, but I don't know if Mashiach is here yet. But he talks about, you know, this whole idea of Mashiach ben Yosef being chained, you know? And the minute he's unchained, it's basically like the Geula is unstoppable and irrevocable. Guys, to me, the Geula is connected to people driving like crazy people coming out of nowhere. To me, the Geula is connected to Emet, the truth. That's really it. We live in a world of lies. Our sages told us we're going to be living in a world of lies. You know, Olam HaSheker. Um, and to me, guys, it's all about truth. It's all about Emet. Really. So, Zat Hashem, we're going to see all of the Emet come out very, really, really soon. They're scrambling, guys. You can see that they're scrambling. You know? I'll make a separate video about that. And, uh, Zat Hashem, guys. It's, uh, it's time to acknowledge who really runs the show. And thank God, finally, people are doing just that. Alright, guys. Talk to you soon.